you start it? Yep. Oh. Did you guys ever have a, um, a nine-speed cassette and you want it to run more like a 10 or 11 or a 12-speed cassette? Well, I may have the solution for you. Well, years ago when I first got my bike, I had a 1223 on it. And that was great for the flats, but not so good for the hills because it had criterion gearing on it. Well, then I went and I got 1128. I even had 1136 at one point. And that worked great for the hills, but the smaller gears, the smaller cogs, were not so good for the flats. So what I came to the conclusion of doing is, is um, combining the two cassettes into one custom cassette. So what I, wanted to, what I want to do is take, and if you look at this diagram, I wanted to take the 11 from the 1128, pull it down here, and the 12, and the 13, and the 14, and then I wanted to take the 15 cog from the 1223 cassette over here, the 16 and the 17, and pull the 21 from the 1128, pull it down there, and then have that really nice 28 gear to get out of jail kind of, uh, you know, if you really need it for a steep climb. That's a pretty good climbing gear at 28. Well, anyways, so that would be the final cassette. And sometimes you may have to take your cassette apart. A lot of times, like here, this thing was put together and it was held by rivets. And you gotta take a drill and drill out the rivets. Here, here, there's three rivets, and then it comes apart. But, some cassettes, like this 1128, they have, well, some cassettes, you got to make sure that it has this in the middle to fit on, you know, this part of your bike. So it slides and it, it adheres to the hub like this. If it doesn't, that you can't use these gears. It has to have that. Well, anyways, if you want to learn more about taking the and drilling out the rivets on your cogs, go to this site. This British guy demonstrates exactly what I'm doing here too, and he has a really good site. Right here, do you have that? Go to this site. Okay, and uh, yeah, you don't want, you don't want the, uh, the cogs to have a spider on it, like this. Here, I'll show you. See how they're all stuck together on a spider? This would be worthless because these are all grouped together. If I pull these rivets out, they all share the same centerpiece and it wouldn't fit on correctly. They would all come loose. It wouldn't, you wouldn't have this little middle section here for it to fit on the hub. Well, anyways, um, that's about it. So I'm going to combine all this and hand this piece of paper to the bike shop and they should be able to put all this together into a custom cassette and put it on your bike. All right, that's it. I hope this helps. Cameraman is me. Hi. <laughs> and bye.